Hello YouTube, this is Stephanie Young, and I am a fairly new modder, so forgive me for probably not doing things the right way. Anyway, I, um, I was looking for some meshing and texture tutorials. I mean, I found a few texturing tutorials, but as far as meshing goes, those are very scarce. Um, and since I'm pretty much a noob at all of this stuff, I just sort of had to... Um, sort of figure it out by my by myself and basically you know I taught myself my own little technique which is probably not right so for any of you uh, <laughs> experienced monitors who might be watching this you know this isn't really this is probably not the right way to do things but anyway just something that I came up with anyway today I'm just gonna be showing you some of the basic stuff um, I'm going to be meshing an animal today. Um, basically, first of all, what you'll need is Fallout Mod Manager. So, I'll probably put a link in the description, but if you haven't gotten it yet, definitely, definitely get that one. Um, so anyway, um, basically you're going to use this to get into your uh, Skyrim Textures and Meshes folders. So, okay, anyway, today I'm thinking, let's click on this real quickly. Um, wait, it might take a little bit to load up, but anyway, first of all, what we do is we're just going to type in whatever um, the animal that we're looking for. So, I'm looking for a rabbit here. So, this is probably the one that we're looking for. And let's see. So basically, what we're, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna extract it to any folder that you want to. Right now, I'm just gonna um, extract it to my desktop here, and it should. Let's see. It should appear under meshes. Well, no, never mind. Here it is. So basically, we're gonna have to remember this. Um, file path. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make a new folder in here. So I'm going to say let's see actors. Oops. Slash ambient. Slash hair. Character assets. And then we're just going to move this right into here. Alright, so now we have our mesh for our little rabbit. Anyway, now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing for the texture. I'm going to go into the folder. We'll just do the same thing here. Um, now we don't have to have both of these, but let's see. But I would just in case, because I'm still learning this stuff, so I'll probably. I don't really know what the um, rabbit in is yet, but <laughs> so anyway, now this one, I guess with this one, um, I guess when you extract two of them at the same time, it'll just go directly into the textures folder. So here we have our little rabbits. Anyway, um, I'll probably show you how to texture stuff later on, but for now we'll just work on the mesh part. So anyway, what you're going to need to do is get another program called um, NIFScope. And uh, this is a pretty cool program. Um, basically, this reads the different uh, meshes that you have in the game. Um, anyway, let's see...
And sorry, I'm a little bit lost on my computer because <laughs> um, I just have too much crap. And here we go. Meshes, actions, ambient, hair. It's a lot of folders. So as you can see, we've loaded it into our program and this is just the basic uh, mesh. And now here's the part that I sort of um, learned here. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do just just gonna select this um, mesh and this whole thing this will pretty much bunny fur one I guess that's the name of the mesh itself so anyway what we're gonna do here is just keep that selected and go to export and we're gonna export this mesh as object which it'll say it selected it and the mesh will be exported so we're going to name this rabbit <clears throat> yeah yeah so anyway we're going to exit out of this and here we have our object file now another program you're going to need or well you probably won't need this program you can use others but the one I use is mudbox because it's easy for non techie type people like me and fun <laughs> uh, ugly guy picture of course alright hang on this worked the last time I did it Alright, I'm just going to have to get back to recording this in a minute. I'm just going to start from scratch. Hey guys, um, I'm back. So anyway, uh, sorry I was having issues with my box earlier. Um, anyway, my computer might do some weird things. So anyway, uh, back to where we left off. Um, I'm in Mudbox now. So anyway, um, basically... We're going to grab our um, rabbit character from our desktop. Um, let's see. Actually, what am I doing? Um, so, grab our object file. And here he is. <laughs> and. Sorry, I'm still kind of a noob in this program. Anyway, um, uh, here's a little bunny rabbit. So basically what I'm gonna do now is just pretty much make it how I want to. In this case, I'm just gonna give him, uh, floppy ears. Actually, you know what? First of all, it would probably be best if I mirror it. I mean, I could give him one floppy ear, but <laughs> I think we'll do both today. And this is my favorite tool, the, uh, the grab tool. Basically, yeah, we have little floppy ears. <laughs> He's much cuter than he was. Anyway, 
anyway, I'm not going to get too much into the meshy or the moving around stuff here. I think we'll just keep it how it is. He's cute enough. Well, you know, give him like a little bit of a, a rounder cotton ball like tail. <laughs> so here's our little bunny. So basically, first of all, we're going to select all. Control A. We're just going to export our selection as object file. Now I found that, um, of course you do want to make a backup though. I found that with some uh, animal meshes, for some reason, um, NIF scope will turn them around 180. So you're just going to have to do like a rotate on the X axis. For uh, 180, but um, it all depends. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna load up our um, NIF file again. So here we go. I'm just gonna select them again. Make sure it's selected because we're going to import our object file that we made. And basically our object file is going to replace the original. So yeah, here's our little bunny. He's looking pretty good. So anyway, let's just save him. You can save it over, but it's, like I said before, uh, it's good to make backups, just in case. So let's exit out of here. And we're going to take our meshes folder. We're just going to exit out of it. And we're going to go into our uh, Skyrim data folder. And it'll ask you if you want to merge it. And yes, merge. Also with our um, texture. Oops. All right. So now all we have to do is uh, test it out in the game. So I'm gonna stop this real quick and show you what it looks like.